the thought factor in achievement. Now, all that you achieve and all that you fail to achieve is the direct result of your own thoughts. Individual responsibility is absolute. Your weakness and strength, your purity and impurity are your own responsibility, not anybody else's. Your conditions are always your own and not another's, and your suffering and happiness come from within you. You are what you think you are. A strong person can't help a weaker person unless that weaker person is willing to be helped. And even then, the weak one must become strong through their own effort. Only they and no one else can change their condition. You can only rise up and achieve by lifting up your thoughts. Likewise, you can remain weak and miserable by refusing to lift up your thoughts. Before you achieve anything, even worldly things, you've got to lift your thoughts above base desire. You don't need to give up all your desires necessarily, but you will need to be selective about where to focus your attention. If your first thought is always indulgence, you will not be able to think clearly nor execute fully on your plans. You'll not even be able to discover the hidden capabilities within yourself. If you can't responsibly control your thoughts, you're not gonna be able to control your life nor take on serious responsibilities. You'll never be able to act independently or be self-sufficient. You're only limited by the thoughts you choose. It is necessary to invest good thoughts into your best plans. Your success will coincide with the level of your elimination of petty short-term desires as you focus on larger and longer-term plans. The higher we lift our thoughts, the more dynamic and powerful we become. Your successes will be greater and your achievements will be more meaningful and lasting as you live this truth. The universe doesn't favor greed, dishonesty, nor immorality, although it may seem sometimes that it does. It helps the honest, the generous, and the virtuous people. All the great teachers of our past have told us this in different ways, and to prove it, all you've got to do is make yourself more virtuous by lifting up your thoughts. Intellectual achievements are the result of thought focused on the search for knowledge, beauty, and truth in life, as well as nature. These achievements may sometimes be connected with vanity and ambition. They happen in spite of, not because of these qualities. These achievements are the natural outgrowth of long and difficult effort combined with pure, unselfish thoughts. Spiritual achievements result from holy aspirations. If you have noble thoughts and focus on all that's pure and unselfish, you'll become wise and enlightened and rise to a position of influence and blessedness. Achievement is the reward for effort and thought. With self-control, resolve, purity, righteousness, and well-directed thought, you can ascend to a higher place and with impurity, corruption, laziness, and confused thoughts, you descend to a lower place. Someone might rise to great success in the world and even to lofty heights in the spiritual world, yet they'll fall into weakness by allowing arrogant, selfish, and corrupt thoughts to surface. People who attain victories must remain watchful to think right. Many grow careless, and when success seems assured, they fall rapidly into failure. All achievements, whether in the business, intellectual, or spiritual world, are the result of definitely directed thought. The only difference lies in what you seek, not how you should go about obtaining it. If you seek to accomplish little, then you will only have to invest a little. But if you want to achieve a lot, you must invest a lot.